welcome back to the channel. For today's video of Jeep Rero, uh, we, we will be looking at Williams Day's account that has been in Master 1 last season and picked Michelinis and finished the season with a negative uh, money balance and uh, he is now in Pro and it's time for the rebuilds of his account without resetting to Rookie. So let's get going into the plan. Uh, basically uh, for the team uh, title we decided to push and uh, William... Uh, picked Michelinis and uh, yeah it uh, didn't work out and then we decided to relegate uh, spent a little bit too much money but was necessary yeah and uh, due to the negative balance of the money at the end of the season uh, some fa facilities were sold but he still was in negative money so some uh, car parts have been sold as well so then he got into the positive money and then you you receive the other bonuses yeah we have uh, already signed uh, the driver for the upcoming season here he is uh, Benoit uh, Ra Raphael um, yeah basically a very cheap driver that is going to do absolutely nothing in pro but he has a lot of motivation which leaves a lot of OA space left to train him in pro getting ready for the next season in amateur let's get going into the rest of the plan but first let's do the contract extension the plan is to extend the contract with three races as the current uh, contract of 17 races starts and ends at the season reset uh, which we don't really want we want a contract that goes into the next season so it's possible to take the driver into the next year of the game and extend the contract again without going to the market yeah we're going to be training the driver for yoga we want to increase the concentration to 171 80 and uh, that will be the first part of the season what we will be doing uh, let's uh, go to the facilities uh, quickly yeah here you can see uh, all facilities are at zero because they have been sold in the reset uh, due to the negative uh, money balance and uh, the staff is trained at 21 23 the current max training is at zero because you don't we don't have any facilities at the moment and the, the basic plan is to just invest uh, all uh, fac facilities and for 20 points uh, so 2020 2020 which would uh, achieve a max training level of 20 is the most we can get at the moment and for the season plan this will be the only investment into the facilities the trained staff will drop slightly but uh, that uh, should be fine and uh, that will uh, mean we get uh, a decent uh, facility maintenance that we can afford uh, with, with the plan although the, the expense is more than we have uh, currently we will, we will be going back into negative money but we have done all the, the major expenses so far so it should be fine and of course uh, the car parts are one of the most uh, biggest expenses in the season and the plan is going to be to spend completely nothing on new parts so with this car uh, William will finish the season and most likely drop out uh, of all the races after race four or maybe race five yeah it's, it's unlikely to get 90 percent anyways and the, the complete belt is focused on making money whilst um yeah uh, retiring the car and not making 90 percent race distance uh, as for the tire supplier there's only one real option and that will be pp rally uh, because the others are, are uh, slightly too expensive for what we are trying to do and uh, it makes clear to our others that we are going to be relegating so they don't really need to worry if they uh, haven't uh, seen it so let's sign the contract and let's get going into the budget sheet i have uh, taken all the costs uh, and other things and planned it out uh, into a uh, simple excel you can do it as well um yeah watch your hair don't forget uh, to hit the subscribe button and like the video it will be really helpful yeah i had a placement uh, driver here for one million in case i needed uh, to use it to plan and uh, unknown technical director technically william is in pro but we are not going to be uh, b spending money on uh, on the technical director so uh, the cost will be not zero S yeah, and for race one, uh, we can see here this matches with uh, the stuff that I have been showing you. Uh, yeah, currently, for some kind of reason, I can't uh, go higher than uh, this number, so I needed to adjust the tires uh, slightly. Um, yeah, as you can see, William has still a sponsor for over two sponsors, uh, one for the together. 
for just over one million. Yeah, but uh, the one sponsor has a contract length of one race, uh, so that will be gone. Uh, yeah, I felt in the 40th position. Uh, obviously, if not everyone is going to be qualifying or racing all the time, uh, that one race position that will be really helpful in the in the end. Um, yeah, and also you can notice at uh, 90 percent done, which uh, determines uh, the the race earnings you get. Uh, if it's no, it's halved. Uh, and if it's yes, it's just normal. So 8.5, and now it's uh, 4.8. Yeah, if I currently just put them all in uh, with no, just to be safe. Uh, yeah. Currently starting the season with 9 million and we have spent uh, 10 million on facilities which need be which needed to be done So at currently at the end of the season after bonus money with the 5 million for our race and possibly the 1.5 million from team points uh, William should should start next season with 23.4 million but obviously he can earn more money by getting some bad results maybe some cars will be crashing out and uh, yeah most likely the other sponsor that he has uh, is here into a race 7 um, but uh, that's a sponsor that has a pretty high expectation. I expect that sponsor to be pulling out uh, about uh, race 4, race 5 as well. So yeah, here you can see the profit in uh, race 2. Uh, yeah, the profit with this sponsor should be 1.2 million a race. Um, with qualifying in 40th place and the race in 40th yet and not making the full race distance. So the 90% rule. And obviously we can't do testing and it ha has no real value to be only be boosting the, the driver and if we go farther uh, 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 for example race 8 where we can see that uh, the sponsor uh, will be gone for sure uh, the sponsor income uh, zero but the profit is now almost uh, 9k 900k sorry but obviously um, yeah, at some point uh, the training will switch from yoga to fitness. Uh, fitness is uh, one of the most expensive uh, trainings you can do. Um, yeah, just for, for now it's just a placeholder for, for the cost as uh, fitness is the one of the highest cost. Um, yeah, and you can s slowly see the money going up. Uh, also, he could decide to not be not running any practice laps. And oh, error. Damn it. Uh, apparently that is not possible um yeah but you can chip uh, you can uh, skip those um yeah and uh, yeah the money is slowly increasing maybe not everyone will be racing not sure uh fastest lap won't be possible there shouldn't be any crazy stuff uh, you can say testing yes and then uh, there goes a million off uh but we won't be testing and then uh, slowly there should be ga becoming some more money whilst you can see that the parts cost uh, is this one and it is all is in zero yeah obviously this season that isn't, isn't going to be fun but this is really what's necessary when you are in pro after something failed uh, in a higher group or in pro itself and you retained by accident whilst you wanted to relegate and you don't want to rook reset the account because you don't want to lose the trained staff that you have but doing this uh, you, you you, you have basically have a GPRO holiday. You can qualify in five minutes and don't care about the game. You just need to remember to qualify. And uh, yeah, I made this plan for him and hopefully it should be working out. And then you get in pro uh, back in amateur with a driver that's slightly great, but still fairly, fairly cheap uh, compared to what you can get. You avoid the market madness. So you don't need to spend any mo money on uh, offering drivers any contracts uh, you start with a healthy balance uh, money has been invested into facilities obviously the staff uh, amount uh, that the staff earns in money will, will be dropping slightly but uh, I've just filled in the highest number and uh, William should be uh, able to make uh, a nice profit without spending any parts uh, in pro with a rookie 
but basically a rookie driver. Time for an update. Uh, yeah, as you can see, William has now done five races, and uh, in the first four races of the season, William managed to get uh, the 90% uh, distance rule, so full money for those races that wasn't in the original plan. And uh, at race five, he uh, finished the race uh, in 40th position in the end. Uh, yeah, but uh, he dropped out uh, from the race, uh, missing out on the 90% race distance, uh, which would be normal for the plan. Yeah, here we can see uh, the the expenditures uh, so far from William after five races. Uh, yeah, most of it is from the facilities, uh, from the big update uh, that we did earlier on in the video. And uh, everything else is basically uh, running cost. And uh, so far we have earned uh, 37 million dollars, uh, most of it is from the race income and a small bit uh, from the sponsor that William still had and uh, qualifying money doesn't exist. Uh, his driver is now uh, slightly improved, uh, I did a few trainings for yoga, uh, whilst William did some uh, fitness training himself, uh, but uh, the yoga training cancels out the stamina, so that wasn't really that useful. And his staff and facilities uh, have uh, slightly dropped now. But that isn't that bad, uh, considering uh, what we are doing, uh, what's the plan. And uh, yeah, let's take a look into the sheet. Uh, yeah, you can see uh, that uh, William uh, now has a yes uh, that I have marked uh, dark green to indicate that I have uh, changed it uh, from before. And then at race 5 there should be a no that I have made red. And you can see the money going up slightly. Uh, the original income would be uh, about uh, 21 million, I believe. And now, uh, the end of the season, he would be getting a uh, 40.8. Thanks for watching the video. Check out this video here, and uh, goodbye. <laughs>